What do a surprisingly gruesome nursery rhyme and the multi-billion dollar music industry have in common? I'll tell you in a minute, but first, we start in 30 BC. Cleopatra VII, the last ruler of the Egyptian Ptolemaic dynasty, commits suicide, allegedly by means of inducing an asp to bite her. Cleopatra had supported Mark Antony in the War of the Triumvirate and chose to die rather than become Octavian's war prize. 1676, praying Indian, John Alderman, shoots and kills Metacomet, the Wampanoag war chief, ending King Philip's war. It was the deadliest war you've never heard of. In the space of little more than a year, 12 New England towns were destroyed, many more damaged, and the colony's econ economy was all but ruined, its population devastated. One-tenth of all military-aged European men were dead. The native population fared far worse. More than half of New England towns were attacked by Native American warriors in the two years of King Philip's War. 1981, the IBM Personal Computer released. Byte Magazine predicted it would have a significant effect on home computing. Equipped with a whopping 16K of memory and titles such as VisiCalc, a primitive spreadsheet, and Adventure, it sold for $1,599, the modern equivalent of more than $4,000. 1994, Major League Baseball players go on strike rather than accept the owner's imposition of a salary cap. This will force the cancellation of the 1994 World Series and shorten the following season by 18 games. It cost Yankee Don Mattingly a chance to play in the postseason and likely cost Montreal baseball fans their team. The fan base never recovered, and the team moved to Washington a decade later. And finally, 1877, Thomas Edison attempting to improve the telegraphic transmitter when he noticed something. He then spoke into the, into the machine and recorded this. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, but now the lamb is dead. But it still goes to school with her between two chunks of bread. That was Thomas Edison, inventor of the phonograph, on this day, August 12th, 1877. Uh, you probably didn't know the second verse of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Now you do, but you probably wish you didn't. With History, I'm Donald Ng.